Welcome back. So now that we're locked in, we have a user. Let's try and just get all users. So I'm going to open a new path here and I'm just going to do grab that and say get all users and I'll press send. And of course I still get an unauthorized. Okay, so we need to add a header here inside the get request and inside the header we're going to add authorization because we want to explain that we're going to send a token to the backend it can use to authenticate me with. And that token is going to be what we call the bearer token, right? So that's just, you always have to place the word bearer and then a space before the token to actually do this request to pull out all users. And then I'll grab this huge token that we got back before that represented this specific user. I'm going to paste that in here. And I'm going to do a send. I still get unauthorized. Now the problem might seem that it's because the token is bad, but that's actually not the case. Because what I missed out on was actually you have to be an administrator and right now our user in the system is just a user. He's not an administrator. So I'm just going to change this into admin just to show you that this works. So I'm going in, right clicking the document, right here on the user, I'm right clicking and I'm saying edit the document and I'm changing it into an admin like this. I'm going to save him. Now my user is actually an admin user. Okay, we're going to use the, the API later to do the same thing. I just don't want to get into that right now. I do a send again, and now I'm actually an administrator, and I have the bearer token, so now I can actually get the user information out. So if you don't get, if you think you're at the bearer token, you feel that you put in all the information required, even the token, and you still get an unauthorized, make sure that your user you're trying to log in with is actually the role of admin, or else you won't get in there. But now I have access, now I can actually use Postman, use a bearer token, the token I got from my authentication call right here that I put username and login using basic auth. I can actually now get out information from the backend whenever I use this bearer token. Awesome! So now we can start doing some other things like creating more use and stuff like that. Let's try and work with that in the next lessons.